Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sochinandan Dotto and in this video lecture I will talk about that kind of data is required for the stock assessment. So there is uh, two kind of uh, data is required for the stock assessment. So uh, we are classified uh, this two kind of data into a fisheries dependent data and fisheries independent data. So fisheries dependent data that means the data is collected directly from the fisheries itself. So that data is collected by directly from the fisheries sector, the fishermen and the fishing boards. And uh, there are variety types of methods are available for the fisheries dependent data. But most popular approach uh, for collecting the fisheries dependent data is the landing data. So landing is uh, the total amount uh, of catch or recorded uh, the total amount of fish uh, is sold also. And uh, the number are typically report, reported as the total weight means in a total haul or a total uh, number of days of fishing how much amount of fish they are uh, catching so it may be as a weight of the total catch and this fisheries uh, dependent data there is uh, different other methods are there uh, one of the most uh, important method is also the port side sampling port side sampling is uh, both in recreational and uh, the commercial uh, fishing vessel so the during the fishing uh, time the fishermen uh, they are also collecting uh, the data biological data of length weight or the age data uh, for uh, the stock assessment so this is also port side sampling and there is also there is different types of methods are available uh, for uh, the fisheries dependent data but these are not so much popular so these are uh, the self-reporting so uh, the fishermen are reporting uh, themselves that how much catch they are getting or the telephonic survey by asking uh, the question here format uh, to the fishermen the how much catch are they are taking or where the location and different other info by the telephone and the vessel monitoring and the observer so these are the methods also directly from getting from the fisheries sector but uh, these are not uh, so popular the most popular uh, fisheries dependent data is uh, the landing data now comes to the fisheries independent data so fisheries independent data there is no fishing is activities allowed so fisheries independent data is obtained in the absence of fishing activity so no fishing activities is there so this kind of data is collected by the state or federal agencies or different institute they are uh, looking for the stock assessment or different uh, scientific organization also and so this kind of methods are basically uh, the acquiring the fisheries uh, independent data by using uh, the different uh, research vessels or uh, the different type of um, uh, equipment or different types of uh, uh, gears they are using like trawl nets they need or videography or the acoustic survey uh, to know the stock uh, status of the stock to know the whether the fish are present and uh, the study may focus on the single species so if we you look at the manage of a particular species so you will collecting the data for a particular species Species, single species or if it is a multi species then we need to collect uh, the different all the species uh, data and maybe a specific age group it could be that we are uh, considering the uh, spawner uh, recruitment so maybe we are uh, dealing with this uh, spawning uh, age or the adult or the mature uh, piece or maybe we are dealing with the stock size of the young one so that is depend upon uh, the which is our objective so specific age or maybe specific cohort uh, the data is uh, collecting for uh, the stock assessment and uh, regardless uh, there is a different kind of some methods are there and this survey uh, provides the manager so after dealing with all kinds of information so this information gather and analyze and that output or the analysis is uh, that information or the amount of the stock estimation so that is given to the manager uh, to estimate the abundance what is the available stock present in this particular region for this particular time periods 
and uh, there is a mercury capture methods it's a very important uh, uh, methods or estimating uh, different biological parameter from the mercury capture methods so different uh, data should be collected the migration so if i if you're looking uh, for the migratory behavior of any species or if you incorporate the migration into your model then you can uh, use of these mercury capture methods and the growth rate to estimate the natural mortality or the discard mortality or fishing mortality so these all kinds of data can be calculated easily from the mercury capture studies and then stock assessment uh, are basically uh, completed using the both uh, both kind of uh, data set maybe using the physics dependent as well as the physics independent data then ultimately the stock assessment can be calculated and this uh, stock assessment provide the fisheries manager uh, to make their policy and to make uh, the highest uh, maximum sustainable limits and what are the allowable catch so this is uh, uh, the, uh, all the information analysis given to the manager and they are making the policies and they are making the decision that what is the allowable catch for this year and that can be estimate uh, uh, the stock and uh, that can be regulate uh, the fish stock for a long run and so now look at the what are kinds of biological or fisheries data are we collected for the stock assessment so let's uh, look at the biological data biological data includes uh, the age structure of this fish or age structure of the stock and uh, age at the first spawning means when uh, in at which age uh, the fish are mature fish are going mature to give birth of young ones and uh, to lay their eggs and fecundity and uh, the male female ratio and uh, the natural mortalities and fishing mortalities and the growth rate so these are the biological data along with the spawning behavior then critical habitat what is their habitat where they are living and uh, the migratory behavior or migratory habits of this piece and then food preference uh, what are they are taking uh, foods uh, means uh, uh, type of foods they are carnivorous or they are herbivorous or they are what are their food preference and also uh, the different uh, population uh, other parameter of the maybe the total biomass of the stock so these are the biological data are useful of to estimate uh, the stock now look at the fisheries data so what are the uh, fisheries uh, data uh, are required to estimate the stock so these are the kind of fishermen I mean, which kind of fishermen are there going for fishing and the commercial versus recreational uh, fisheries is it commercial or it is recreational and the gear use so which kind of gear used so uh, to uh, uh, catch this uh, stock so here we are using the gillnet trollnet or the passine or different kinds of gears and the amount of fish caught means what is the total catch of that particular region a particular time and is structure of that fish and uh, the six ratio and how the piece are marketed so after the catch after the landing how the piece are reached to the consumer is it a value chain system or it is a direct reach to the consumer so what is the marketed um, system and then value of the piece means what is the total amount or uh, cost or the profit uh, coming from the piece or the value of the piece of different fishermen groups and uh, the time so that's the important factor so how long uh, the fishermen are in the seas uh, to take this amount of fish so what are the fishing important times also and the geographical location of uh, the best catch so this is a very important parameter so that can be estimated from the satellite data can be estimated from the gps system so fishermen are can get a high catch in a particular region so they are also taking the gps point of that particular region to estimate uh, the geographical location of the best catch region and uh, so this uh, geographical uh, boundaries uh, of the Different stock or population are also defined in the assessment. So, if you want to assess a uh, fish stock, so then you, you don't have to consider any political boundaries or any geographical boundaries because stock uh, doesn't border or fish doesn't border about the uh, political boundaries. 
now uh, that uh, combination of uh, biological and fisheries data so from if we if you take the combined uh, data from the biological and fisheries so then we can estimate uh, the current stock status and that is a very important uh, thing that uh, to estimate the current stock status we have to combine the both, both biological fisheries as well as the social economic data i have already talked about it and so the stock is uh, defined and the manager uh, to use assist uh, and to predict so that is the main our objective is to predict the future so predict the future stock and uh, stock will respond to the varying level of the fishing pressure so uh, if we know the stock so that will also help us to know the uh, what is the fishing pressure of the stock so means how many uh, effort we are allowing uh, for uh, this uh, uh, for the MSY and so ultimately uh, manager wants to reduce uh, the fish fishing and reduce the also uh, the fishing pressure and to restore the stock to make it uh, sustainable to reach it uh, at, at msy so uh, and at, it, it could not be uh, overfished so the for the fish stock assessment study the growth uh, and the age data so growth data and is also the age data is also uh, very important and mainly primary data uh, that growth and age data so growth and age data of a stock uh, goes as an important parameter that uh, because this uh, two important uh, uh, estimation gives us uh, uh, to estimate the mortality parameter and other uh, different parameter that are required for the stock assessment and these two growth and um, uh, age uh, data also help uh, for the selection of parameter goes to input uh, for the prediction model so if you want to predict uh, the stock for the future so then growth and age data is very important and the fish stock assessment should be uh, maybe may, you can estimate as a sex wise or male stock female stock or you can make a combined stock so that is uh, required uh, to you can make a pool data or pool stock uh, to optimize uh, the assessment and uh, basic element uh, for uh, the fishery so here uh, the input uh, main input for the fishery sector is the efforts so if you put more efforts then your catch will be increased at certain level so effort is the main input and what is the output output is the total landing on the total catch so effort effort here is uh, different types of years and number of days number of fishing hours so here we are using the trawl hours uh, trap days and uh, dubai diving hooks or the hook hour so these are the different fishing efforts and this is the input and output we are getting the total landing and total catch so the process which link uh, the input and output data it is most important that we have to link uh, between the input and output data to get the exact uh, stock uh, status and uh, usually the process consists of biological processes of the fishing operation and uh, there, there is different types of stock assessment model and uh, was available and uh, we are looking uh, checking for few models so one is uh, the analytical model second is the surplus production model and third one is the swift area map model and uh, those all those math models also give you the prediction prediction for the future stock and so uh, let's check one by one of these uh, three kinds of stock assessment model so analytic model analytic model is uh, it's it's a very long data set you record so what are the input input data is the age data age data from the hard part of the body so it's a uh, very difficult to get the age data and uh, length frequency data is one of the most common and most popular data that is rent frequency data and what the process to estimate uh, the different uh, population parameter different the mortality rate uh, easily calculated the growth parameter the mortality parameter and selection parameter easily calculated from the age or length frequency data and a process that yield estimate by different values of his mortality for a range of exploitation rate at different exploitation rate what are the fishing mortality how the fishing mortality is varies and if you increase your exploitation if the fishing mortality is also increased and output uh, to estimate the msy then you can uh, estimate the ssb standing stock you know, stock biomass you can uh, estimate the relative yield for recruitment relative yield for biomass also you can also estimate this all a kind of parameter to estimate the proper uh, stock
and in case of surplus production model it is one of the most popular and uh, most common model used by the fishery scientist and here the data is very limited so data in data more system we are using the surplus production model and for the surplus production model the input data is the catch and effort data and the process is the estimating the cpue by using the cpue methods we are estimating the msy if msy or bmsy and uh, there is uh, different kinds of uh, different types of also the surplus production model uh, the safer model is a very popular model then fox model that is also very common used by the physical scientist and the pella tomlinson model that is also based on the length frequency or edge based data so uh, we will talk about uh, later on these three kind of uh, stock assessment model and swift area method swift area methods is uh, it's uh, the basically input data is uh, the flat survey means uh, the fishing uh, dollar fishing board or fishing years flat survey and the process to estimate uh, the swift area means what the velocity of your gear what the velocity uh, of your uh, the wind, sp wind speed and the time spent in the uh, in the in the ocean of the seas or the head length of the head rope or the when the trolling the time of the trolling so these are the process uh, to get uh, to get the total catch or total biomass data so output uh, data from this swift area method is uh, the total estimate the total biomass uh, of the resource of a given area at a given time so that's all about uh, the data is required for the fishery stock assessment uh, so that's all about it thank you thank you